Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see how to promote changes, how to export the CMX ORS or any other ORS and save as a file, XML file. So in order to see that, uh, what we'll do, we will create one sample example. So you, you can go to the schema and what we'll do, we will add one more table so like for example I'm adding one landing table consider like this a uh, landing table name will be or LND or okay then click OK so it will create one arc table so now what we'll do so Similarly, you can change or you can make all other changes in the package, query, mapping, or any other section in the model, or you can change the match and merge rule as well. So suppose you made make these changes. Now you have to go to the repository manager. For that, you have to select master database, select corresponding ORS, and validate it first. So once you validate, uh, there should not be any error or should not be any fatal errors uh, warnings are okay and uh, it gives some information that is also fine so you have validated let's export it so select that ORS one which you want to export just click save and you have to give the name to that file so I'll give cmx ORS v2 and it will append dot change automatically so it is exported successfully we can go and check that file so we have change and this is just XML we can go XML it is XML so this is the change dot XML it will look like or we can do one thing we can open in the some explorer let's see so th this is the file so it will give you the the sections like um, what is the name of the uh, match related properties like the person name what are the columns you are involved or uh, what type of population you are using etc and all other properties like what is the landing table name what are the allies what are the schema names what is the column what is the it's a corresponding properties like whether it's in a label or not what type of data so all other in, all information is mentioned in this change.xml so so this is we have the xml so what we'll do we again go back to the schema we have exported successfully and we have this, uh, that backup file I will delete this all suppose um, in the development environment you have added this organization table and we, we are going to replicate the real-time scenario so for example in the development environment you have that org table but in the QA environment or in the pre prod or in the production environment you don't have that in uh, that table so this is the condition where you don't have the organization table in the QA for example QA environment and you have the just added in the QA organization table in the dev environment so before that we will validate this environment so select the ORS oh sorry uh, we have to validate select ORS and just click OK so now suppose you are in the QA environment and you are doing those steps so what we'll do oh, we have two options we have import is one option and we have promote is another option so if you try to import the files your target schema has to be empty and if you try to do that it will give you error so we know we have the one change list for that change file i will select this it is valid now click OK and let's select target. So if you select target, 
okay it will give the error the target schema must be empty that means there should not be any table with any uh, data in that so if you have it will give the error so that means if you are doing the first time import then it will work so import is only happen if you have the target schema empty so now how can i provide how can how can i implement my changes from the day environment to the qa so for that we have the option called as a promote so go to the promote tab then you have to prepare change list so what are the changes you are going to provide in the higher environment so just select the repository so in the qa you know, suppose we are in the qa environment and we have this repository so just here is here is, these are the buttons available for you the first is to create a new change list then we have if you want to loads uh, changes change list from local like if you saved that change list you can use the change list file and apply then you can for example so you created some changes you can save that then you can promote these uh, promote changes so let's create a new change list in order to create new change list either you can use some other repository or you can use the file so we have created the file so we will use the file select that file open and it will create a valid change list so what are the changes it will promote it will add the landing table like clnd.org and it will sort the column for this lndr so these are these changes which will be get promoted into the qa environment for now so let's say so you can save this change list so if you make a save so we, you have to just give the name for the chat that change list the saved changes you can import in the you can just select here and you can apply that so once you've done that um, so there are two options you can just run simulation of the change list since it will compare and apply and here it will just apply the changes instead of comparing so what we'll do we will just apply the changes so now it gives me one pop-up it mentioned that if something happened during this applying the changes you want full rollback or rollback to the last change like suppose if there are two tables like lnd org and ll lnd emp employee and you just applied the change the to the r and while doing app, applying the changes for the emp something happens something wrong network issue occur so you want to roll back till the point when where you started or you want to roll back till the uh, when the employee get fell uh, when the employee record uh, employee changes get filled till that point so you can mention the full rollback that is very convenient and very safe first side option and click ok it also check the valid uh, validate the actually integrated means suppose there are two tables child and parent which have the dependency with each other so you have to load the first child and then the parent like that or the uh, parent table first create create and then the child table so if you want to check that integrity you have to select yes otherwise no it is always recommended to choose the yes because it will help us to identify what are the dependencies at this stage only instead of um, creating further issue up after the implementation so i'm clicking yes and now it is applying the changes so changes are applied very successfully you will get this message now go to the um, validate section select the ors where you implemented and validate it again so we have validated and now what we'll do we will go to the schema and so suppose in the q event we are not added uh, the org, uh, org table so let's see whether it is visible oh wow this is visible now so org table is available in higher environment and we can see the details here so this is the way by using which you can uh, normally promote the changes uh, so when you save this file so what are the changes when which are created this so you can keep this change list file in the uh, repository like the CVS, SVN or you can use any other repository manager to save this version. So I think this is pretty much about the um, promote thing, promote, import, export. Import is used for the importing to the completely new schema. Export is to export 
the what are the new changes into the file and promote just the uh, just to promote few changes from same ORS into a different different environment. I hope this is very helpful for you. Uh, if you have any queries or questions, you can uh, mention video below. So there are some other options also there like the important to see WM file or export. So like the change file, these are the some other type of files. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.